Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we are at the MG Performance Center. Raise some much. Special thanks for having us here today. And today we are here with the new 2024 GLE Coupe and this is the facelift version. And in this video we'll check out the exterior interior and also the infotainment system as well as the space. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash the like button and also subscribe and turn on notification bell so you're notified for all future episodes. And now let's start with the video. All right, so let's start with the exterior. So here we have the new facelift of the GLE Coupe. And immediately we can see the all new front. So here we can see the daylight running lights. Now we have this one eyebrow and four smaller like uh, stripes shorter stripes there are not dots like shorter stripes multi led technology as you can see here with the led projectors and the whole front bumper is also reworked so you can see like a a-wing in amg line design and also the side like intakes uh, they are cosmetic but you can see the curtains the air curtains on the side here they are actually passed through so you can see that on this car we have this beautiful gray paint which is uh, very famous among uh, many enthusiasts and owners and this is one of the most popular gray color i would say and one of the best looking for sure so this is selenite gray metallic paint uh, which is available also on different models like on the c-class glc and uh, some other as well and has very nice metallic flakes and yeah so this sort of like a middle shade of the gray very very nice i think this is a uh, one of the best paints in the world uh, honestly really really nice shade also we have two power domes on the front hood and also the new r stars in the grill so we can see these are in chrome we have night package so this particular part of the grill is in gloss black as well as the side mirrors here they are also in black and also the window trim is in gloss black so these parts are all uh, blacked out which is looking really sporty as well we have also a system system package here with the, the this touring radar which is behind the mercedes star so this is like a hologram that means that behind this is a radar so you see the star is not 3d so if we check out for example here the star is 3d check it out so you can see that uh, the star is actually 3D. It's not a uh, hologram like this uh, on this particular car. So that's how you know if you have a radar, which is really important. So in terms of the side view, it has this really like a shark design, the new GLA Coupe. And looks really dynamic here in the Coupe shape. Check it out. Let me know which one is your favorite, the GLE SUV, which you can get with more luggage space and also more usability. This one is more stylish car, but still has a nice boot space, which you will check out as well. But check out how the roof line is sloping down quite in dramatic way. So actually the rear end of the car is in the line with the lower part of the roof line. So it has this very nice dynamic uh, design which many people uh, love, so it's very popular uh, for that matter. In terms of the wheels, these are the 22 inch. You can get 20 inch, 21 and 22 inch. These are also the most expensive which you can get uh, in gloss black with the silver outer rim. You can get these wheels also in more silver design. This is uh, in gloss black with center caps, Mercedes-Benz. This sort of like a classic um, Mercedes style. Also we have AMG logo engraved here and ventilated brake discs uh, with the Mercedes-Benz calipers. Wheel arches are painted in body color and you can see the, the sideboards with these rubber stripes so they are not slippery. Very nice in terms of that. So I think the sidestep look very nice. Let me know what you think in the comments. So the car looks more sharp to me. The middle part here 
is in gloss black as well so the car looks more like it's um, more sporty definitely and more sharpened up so I'm more now fan of these lights the, in terms of the LEDs than the preface lift because uh, it's something new and many owners want to differentiate facelift with the pre-facelift the, if they get it so it can look that uh, quite differently than the previous uh, version so yeah that's why it's changed also here we have a sunroof which we'll check out from the interior and the handles are still in chrome even if you have a night package also we have guard 360 this is the security system in terms of the key fobs we can check it out all right and this is the key fob to the car let me know how do you like this so the key fob is the same as the pre facelift version so you can see the very nice roof line here with the GLE coupe and one of the biggest changes also in the back are these tail lamps so they have a new LED graphics on the inside so you can see one stripe here which is like a cut in the middle because of the boot and I think it looks very nice si very simple we can say but in simplicity there is a there is a beauty I would say so they decided to change it up like this so before the LEDs were on the sides outer sides of the tail lamp now it's in the middle and uh, one stripe let me you know your thoughts in the comments I think it's uh, yeah it's, it's a nice improvement for me personally also we can see here the lip on the boot for the AMG line it's quite large check it out this is like I would say about two inches like five six centimeters sort of so um, nice design uh, definitely so in terms of the tire size we can check out here also you can see the wheels on the sunshine so here we have the Pirelli P0 and in terms of the tire size so the tire size is 285 40 22 inch on the front and in the back it should be uh, wider so at the back we can see 325 35 22 as well so wider at the rear so mo mercedes original and check out how the car looks here from the back very very aerodynamic shape for the uh, GLE Coupe also here we have the air suspension so you can lower the vehicle you can try it now actually so if you put the car in the sport mode here with this button okay like this it will lower uh, the vehicle so the ride height will get lowered and it's already doing now okay all right so it dropped a couple centimeters like one inch more or less i would say and the car now looks more sharpened up in terms of the aerodynamics definitely i can feel it's lower to the ground so it looks very muscular and also very sporty on the GLE coupe also check out here the rear bumper it has this black uh, plastic part more upwards from the side so uh, the back of the car looks lighter to me so it looks like it's actually smaller the, the painted part so the whole car looks more sporty uh, with this feature to me diffuser has four fins as you can see here exhaust tips are cosmetic in this case I would I would prefer them to be real but it is what it is they are actually quite deep so not big of a deal and GLE 450 this is a diesel version 3.0 liter diesel available in Europe and maybe some other market let me know in the comments and the formatic we can see on the right side here so let me know how you like the design of the GLE coupe from the back so the GLE coupe comes in a variety of different engine versions here in the facelift this one is the most powerful diesel version available this is a inline six-cylinder turbo diesel engine you can see six-cylinder 
and inline. So this engine develops 367 horsepower and 20 horsepower from the hybrid unit, which is behind the engine. And this one produces 20 horsepower and the sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour happens in 5.6 seconds. Top speed is 250 km per hour, uh, electronically limited. So very fast car. There are also other engine versions and the top versions are 53 MG and 63 S AMG. Let me know which is your favorite in the comment section down below. So far on the US configurator I saw the GLE SUV as a 350-450 but the GLE Coupe is only uh, available on the website as a 53 and 63 S. Maybe the Mercedes versions will come as well, hopefully. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. All right, so now let's check out the boot capacity, press the star. So here we have 630 liters, that's 22.25 cubic feet. Also, you can fold this like that to close the wood in terms of the visibility. Also, you can place something here on the top. It's like a shelf. Very nice uh, to have it like that. In terms of the volume, if you have SUV, you can load it up to the headliner. So you have much more. But the parcel shelf is more or less the same uh, as the coupe here. Also, you can fold the seats 40-20-40. Here is just my tripod and uh, water bottle. So here underneath you can find, you can see place for spare tail here and tow hook tire kit, some accessories. So overall, uh, really spacious for a GLE Coupe. I'd like to know if, if this would be enough for you or you need a GLE SUV. Also you can tow a trailer here. So the hook can actually extend here automatically and also it can retract. Check it out. And you can close the boot here with the touch of a button. So if you need to load something heavy into the car, you can press this button and the lower section of the car will actually drop down. Also 12 volt socket here and hooks for the cargo net, which you can attach here. Very nice, so really practical car and I would say usable for the family for sure depending uh, how much things you need to carry around. Alright, so now it's time to check out the interior doors. We have a soft close, check it out. Also the back doors are soft close as well. So here in this spec we have these really beautiful beige and this is the macchiato beige and black combination of the upholstery so this is a leather as you can see so one thing what i would like to see here in the future is also the beige steering wheel and the amg line interior as well so here we have the exclusive steering wheel you cannot get the beige leather with the amg line steering wheel which uh, i would actually get so yeah some people prefer this one steering, some prefer the AMG line. Let me know which one is your favorite. This one is more like a luxurious one. AMG line is more like a sporty one. In terms of the other options, here we have the heated seats, three levels. Then we have ventilated seats. And you can operate also the right seat if you press this button. Three memory positions for the seats. Burmester surround sound system. Also, you can open the tailgate here with the button. You have a place for a water bottle, some storage space in the door pockets. And uh, you can see that the middle part is in beige and top and bottom are in black. Also, here we can see this oak uh, wood in the black. And this is a trim. You can also get carbon fiber, for example, but I think uh, with this one, is uh, the wood fits better than carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, I would go for the black one or, which is very nice, is this combination of white and black two-tone, which, uh, which you can get with the AMG line. I would probably get that one over this. So this one is more like the creamy and this beige color. The two-tone white and black is really like white and black. So many people love this beige color, so they would prefer that. Let me know which one is your favorite. 
Also, if you don't have AMG line, then we have rubber pedals. Otherwise, you would have the aluminum with rubber dots. And Mercedes-Benz illuminated here at the door seals, still with the protective film. So yeah, hope, let's hop inside. This is how the front looks from the back. Let me know how to do it like this. All right, guys, so now let's close the doors. Uh, the soft clothes and check out how beautiful this looks. This is more like a luxurious one steering wheel Also in terms of the displays uh, they are the same in terms of the size But the uh, infotainment in terms of the graphics is brand new So the NTG7 the latest infotainment system from the S-Class and filter down to other models and also to the GLE facelift So let me know how you like this cockpit view Panoramic sunroof, this feature many people love and um, I'm one of them So you can open, you have this like, a, you can see it's a little bit see-through But not to the point that it will burn your head So you can close it like this, this is a cloth actually You can open it like this, so you can see the sky And the window is tinted, but not to a point uh, Where you will feel like uh, it's very hot if, it, if you have sun directly above you so that's why it's good to have this cover actually here Also, you can open this uh, sunroof for the ventilation If you press up, then you have this small gap Can you see? Like one inch, two centimeters And you can open this also for the ventilation if you push towards the back So on the top you push if you have a small gap And towards the back you push if you want to open the sunroof So you can open it for this much space, quite a lot and the remaining part actually closes with the cover here also this is if you are driving so you don't have turbulence uh, in the cabin so yeah, looking very very fancy and luxurious also in the middle tunnel you can see the handles with illuminated ambient lighting around them here you can rest your palm and control with the touchpad, the infotainment system also in the middle here we have some storage space on the top there is a wood wood trim so here we have two cup holders well I cannot even hear the engine I thought the engine is off but no, the, the engine is on that's actually crazy really it's on? yeah, yeah so this is so quiet I thought it, the engine is shut it down but no, it's so quiet and I cannot even hear it So here we can see that we have nice two cup holders They are adjustable Also what is very nice that they are uh, They can be cooled down or heat up So if you press, you can cool down or heat up we, uh, The red one is heating, heating up and the blue one is cooling down So these walls you can see they are from metal They will be cold or hot depending which button you press Wireless charger for phone Two USB-C ports but always charge your phone with the cable if you want to charge it as fast as possible because the wireless charger in any phone, in any car is slower than the cable so I highly recommend the cable uh, so yeah, the, the Apple CarPlay is wireless here so you don't need to use the cable for that uh, that, can, that comes also with the facelift check out the seats here they, you can operate here if you press this button I can move Check it out, the headrest up and down Also the seat You can do backwards, forwards The backrest and also the whole seat You can push forwards and backwards Up and down, so yeah, very nice The seat is also ventilated, so in the middle you can see that it's, it's perforated on the sides it's smooth and here we can see the cloth as well, a little bit of the cloth the seat is comfortable, I have to say it's not super soft, it's not super firm, it's just right amount I would say so here we have panel for the AC and these buttons which are so nice so clicky, also have uh, buttons for the AC, so have automatic mode and also in the middle here we have hazard lights uh, you have AC button, rest button, you can close the circulation, rear defrost, front uh, defrost as well. Yeah, very very cool in terms of this. 
Also here we can see the glove compartment. This one is quite large. Also perfume diffuser. Also we have ionization of the air. And heads up display there. On the top we can find the sun visor with the mirror and also uh, with the light and microphone. It's very useful if you are calling to someone, they can hear you very nicely or if you are using uh, voice commands. So you can lock the car here as well. Very nice clicky sounds. The mirrors are actually quite large so the visibility is fantastic from the car. In the middle here we have the, the touch pads which you can control the infotainment system. Also we have here the dynamic button so you can change the driving modes. Uh, this one is individual, then we have sport, comfort, eco and off-road. So you need to activate this as well. So you can see on the right side how the parameters of the car changing, the drivetrain, suspension, steering and also the traction control, the ESP. Then we can see the cameras. So here we have the new design for the 360 cameras. You can also lock this position. So camera activation position saved. You can now close the sunroof. So the AC works uh, better that way. So if you are here next time, the cameras will turn on automatically, which I think is really great uh, because you don't need to turn them even on. Uh, so that's very nice. Also have a parking assistant. Here we have the front camera. This also can be as a wide view. Check it out. Then we can see the rear camera. Also can be uh, ultra wide. Then from the side you can see the parking from this side as well. And you can see the auto. And this is for the tra trailer hook. Also can be uh, wider as well. So that's very cool. Rear wide angle and here is for the trailer. So this is in terms of the cameras. Then we have a button which will see the functions of the car. So you can turn easily here, look at lower, for example, the car and manual shifting, car wash mode, uh, many settings at uh, your fingertips. Then we have the button which is a favorite. So you can add here also favorite route overview all kinds of things. Here we have volume button, a map navigation, so here is a shortcut for the navigation, all new from the S-Class. You can zoom and zoom in, zoom out here with the fingers and you have a radio here and media. So here for the and DAB, this is digital radio and then we can see the telephone if you press here. You can connect two phones uh, as well, which is uh, really nice. And you can lower or raise the car here with this large uh, button in the middle. In terms of the glove compartment, here we have uh, the armrest, which is uh, good for two arms, quite wide. And underneath here we can find the USB-C port. And the whole box is uh, quite actually deep and uh, quite large. So you can put many stuff here. So that's in terms of the overall concept of the car. You can check out the infotainment system and changes uh, right now. So in terms of the steering wheel, here we have the buttons, the pedal shifters. On the right side there is a gear lever and on the left side we have windshield uh, wipers. And here we can also see the distancing system. So here you control the how much distance they want to keep the car in front of you. So if you have one, it will keep the shortest safe distance, then you can move it to 2, 3 and 4. Speed limiter, you can change the speed of the uh, adaptive cruise control, the Distronic. And if you press the home button, you can change the, how the whole screen looks. So right now we have it on classic, you can have it in sport and also in understated. Then you can have navigation, assistance, off-road and service. So let's check it out. This one is the understated. Really basic, you have only speed and also only time on the right side. You can change the color of this as well. And here is only radio in the middle. You can change this if you want, uh, the middle one. And this one will stay like that. And then we have sport one. This will show you G-Force and engine data on the right side. Then we have the classic one, which has two dials. 
and uh, if I swipe here you can see how it's changing in the middle so consumption attention assist radio and navigation you can have it here as well then full screen navigation if you prefer to have it like this now car turn it off itself after 20 minutes but uh, if you press on the display here it will actually here it should pop up then you can press and it will not do that so here we have the navigation and also assistance so this will show you how the car see other members of the traffic so you can see the other cars and the distance if you have set it then off-road you can see the steering here the angle of the steering very nice so if I do full lock you can see it's 37 degrees and if I do opposite side should be around same yes also 37 to the other side you can see also angles here one degree and also on that side one degree as well and where we are heading northwest at the moment we have set also you can see the altitude I believe we need to okay so here is the altitude 194 meters and also you can see the GPS position here so very cool as well to have it like that and service you will see the next service the AdBlue Ad range is only for the diesel and on the right side we can see the coolant temperature, engine oil level and tire pressure will be shown after a few minutes of driving. If you swipe up here then you can see the menu for the heads-up display. So here we have the minimal, sport, standard, off-road, eco display settings and you can turn it off if you don't use it, the heads-up display. So let's check it out. Alright, so here we have the minimal this is the sport here we have standard this one is the off-road then we have the eco display and here we have settings where you can change you can move it up and down and also change the brightness so from minus 5 to plus 5 so that's in terms of the heads-up display so my favorite is probably classic one and also I like the off-road uh, quite a lot so let's leave it like that and in terms of the middle infotainment system we have now the latest NTG7 from the S-Class so if I swipe here the first one is the navigation so what is very nice if you navigation have here a small uh, section where you can change the tracks if you are listening to the music or uh, radio station uh, which I think is very nice to have it here at your fingertips you need to you don't need to go out from this menu to change uh, that as well all right so then next we have the phone so you can pair two phones then radio so you can change the AB plus which is digital radio and other features then we have media this is for your phone um, for the songs USB or Bluetooth you can also install the USB then we have the apps so Mercedes me browser licenses for energizing coach and gallery this would be for collision photos check it out so we have this as well so security system takes photos in terms of the collision then comfort we have massage seats classic massage wave massage hot relaxing back hot relaxing shoulder mobilizing massage activating massage workout backrest and workout cushion then we have the seats, seat kinetics, lumbar support, side bolsters, heating settings, position seat automatically, and you can reset this as well. And MBA lighting, we have uh, maximum brightness is 10. And in terms of the colors, we have 64 individual colors. So you can change also the display start screen, by the way. So you can use the finger tip as well. And uh, it's not really visible right now maybe here a little bit because it's a bright sunlight here sunshine multicolor we know this from s class so ocean blue then miami rose then malibu sunset chrome shine venice pink burning blue red moon jungle green 
ultramarine and the last one is fresh cyan so my favorite is probably the Malibu sunset with the steel and pink so in terms of the ambient lighting we have also effects so you have greeting climate and multicolor animation so then next in terms of the comfort we have also energizing comfort this will change like ambient lighting it will like play a sound and uh, you can see a refresh if we turn it turn this on it started the seat ventilation on level to, uh, level three it's playing this like a screensaver and it's playing also like this sound can you hear really interesting So, yes, and you can turn this off. You can do that for passenger as well. And yeah, I will keep the ventilated seats on level one. Very nice feature. So then we have the off-road menu. So here we can see the cockpit and also the score. You can have a downhill speed uh, regulation, okay, manual, shift uh, manual shifting, then we have the can turn off the traction control parking and here you can see the front camera image so you drive forward and you can see the ground and what is underneath so if I start to drive forward you'll see now it's scanning the road so it can actually see what is underneath the road right now we have only the tarmac so not much as seen here then we have also in the drive which you can change tire pressure also here we can see the position also how many satellites are above us newton meters kilowatts and drive and tire pressure you can also change it here altitude direction and also the angles you can see it here score uh, you can start your next journey as soon as the vehicle is stationary so we can start next journey and you can have fun so right now if you are driving you can get score so I think in terms of the uh, driving if you are driving in more hardcore situations you can actually try it one more time okay so right now if I start to drive we should like see you can see start to change the parameters of the driving I believe I need to get like if you go really steep upwards or backwards I think or, or downwards downhill it will give you I think more score so I think that's the more brutal is the off-road the higher score you will get I think so it's like a like playing a game uh, basically which is uh, I think uh, something cool to have and check out the 360 cameras very useful. I think for bigger cars such as this one the 360 camera is, is a must-have uh, for me. Then info here we can see the consumption uh, Vehicle so you can see the accelerator brake now if I add a little bit of the accelerator check it out We have now 6 10 11 percent and brake 7 20 so it changes also you can see how much you are using the suspension and in terms of the engine data in terms of the engine you can also see the new graphics temperature of the transmission and the engine oil boost pressure how many uh, how much torque and power you are using uh, at the moment all right so i turning the car around so we can see better the display here it's quite sunny today so I should do it sooner but uh, apologize for that so uh, then we have settings so in terms of the settings we can see the assistance here so driving in terms of the driving we can see the active distance assist and the function maintains the set speed and reacts to vehicles in front speed limits curves in the road etc it can adopt speed limit route based speed adjustment an active steering assist 
Uh, the function helps you to drive in the center of the lane using moderate steering interventions. Downhill speed regulation, this is for the downhill for safe driving down. Collision avoidance, we have ESP, this one can be on or off. Active brake assist, this can be early, medium or late. The function can help you minimize the risk of collision with vehicles, cyclists or pedestrian or reduce the effects of accidents. Then active lane keeping assist, uh, this will keep you in the center of the lane. Active blind spot assist, the function warns you of vehicles detected at the rear alongside the vehicle. If a risk of collision is detected, course correcting braking takes place. So that's in terms of the collision avoidance. Then we have assistance, so traffic sign assist. Speed limit warning, you can have visual and visual audible. Then we have traffic light view, automatic or on request. Attention assist, sensitive or standard. And camera. Uh, GPS based activation, you can open the camera cover and parking, you can set warning tones, audio fade out, time of warning, and maneuvering assistant. Then in the vehicle, we can see driving so, winter tail limit, manual shifting, automatic filling station search, trailer type, and car wash mode. Car wash mode, for example, it will raise vehicle level, fold mirrors in, windows and the roof will be closed, power turning off, and rain sensor off. Then we have comfort, so easy entry and exit feature. Move the string position and seat position as well. Uh, roof roll sun blind. Then occupant protection, so you can adjust the belt. And open close, you can open and close. Uh, in terms of the vehicle protection, automatic locking, acoustic lock, automatic mirror folding, and dynamic select. Uh, we have this for the driving modes. And then you have your lights, multi-beam LEDs, inter uh, exterior lighting, ambient lighting, and also the system. I uh, can change the language and so many settings. So uh, yeah, you can check my other videos to see all of the changes. Also here we have the smartphone integration for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Alright, so now let's check out the back in terms of the space. So here is the rear bench. You can also fold the middle armrest here. Let's hop inside. And let's close the doors, soft close. So heated seats here, speaker burmester, also a light hook for the jacket microphone. And in terms of the real leg room, we have quite a lot of space. Check it out here. So we have about, I would say this is like a solid 10 centimeters, like 4 inches. Also storage space. And in the middle you can set the temperature for each side. So 4 zone AC unit, USB-C ports down there. And also we have Isofix for child seat. And two cup holders which are adjustable. And you can see here the panoramic sunroof. Here we can also see the sunroof up to the half of the rear uh, section of the vehicle. And in terms of the headroom, this is how much room do I have. I would say this is very nice in terms of the coupe shaped cars. This is about 10 centimeters, I would say. That's about 4 inches. And I'm 186 centimeters, 6 feet and 1 inch. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know how you like the new GLE facelift in the comment section down below. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and turn on notification bells to so notified for all future episodes. Thank you very much for your support and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.